Having a private, secure method to use email is becoming increasingly important as more and more companies try to collect our data. But picking the right email provider can be challenging. It doesn't have to be, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing the top secure email services to determine which one is best for your needs. But first, what is a secure email service? What's the difference between a secure email service and Gmail? What makes a service secure? A secure email service can mean different things to different people, but I'm defining a secure email service as one that supports PGP encryption. This encryption standard allows emails to be sent between providers in a way that is end-to-end -end encrypted. That is to say, neither email provider on the sending end or receiving end is able to view the contents of the email on their server. Traditional email is incredibly old school. It's not encrypted on their mail servers, meaning Gmail, Outlook, and other common mail providers can read your messages. So these secure email services offer an alternative to the common email providers. But how do these four options stack up? Starting with features, Skiff and ProtonMail have productivity ecosystems with mail, calendar, and cloud storage. Skiff has a Pages app, which is a Google Docs alternative with an emphasis on privacy. Skiff is the only one of the four providers to offer an app like this. Tuta and Startmail keep things basic, with Tuta offering a secure email and calendar, and Startmail only offering a secure email service. All four providers can be accessed with web clients, and they all offer email apps for Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android. Android except for Startmail. For some reason, Startmail only offers a web client, insisting that you can just use a third-party app to check mail on your phone. And if you need to maintain PGP encryption, you can just use the Startmail website on your mobile browser. I appreciate Startmail giving the option to check mail via IMAP and SMTP, but it doesn't offer the same level of encryption that an official Startmail app would. The other services offer apps on all devices, and ProtonMail is the only other provider besides Startmail Startmail that gives you the option of using a third-party email client on desktop with their Proton Bridge service. This is an app that quietly runs in the background on your device and decrypts messages locally, then passes them to your email client via IMAP. This allows emails to maintain their full encryption on ProtonMail's servers, and it allows you to continue sending and receiving PGP encrypted emails without the need for Proton's official apps. Proton Bridge is only available on Mac, Windows, and Linux, so you'll still have to use the official Proton apps to check your email on the go. Skiff and Tuta both force you to use their apps with no option of connecting to a third-party email client via IMAP or SMTP. Ultimately, this is the most secure approach to email as your trust trusted email provider can maintain full control over the security of your email. I do like the compromise that Proton offers with Proton Bridge, but you are introducing another variable of risk when checking your email. One way you can reduce your security risk is by hitting that subscribe button. It's free to click subscribe and click the bell, and you'll stay on top of best security practices by watching my new videos just like this one. When it comes to the official apps, Proton Mails is the most comprehensive. You can choose between multiple inbox views, compose emails easily, access customizable keyboard shortcuts, and modify your email settings. Skip's client is a close second for me. It can do just about everything Proton Mail can do, but it's just less stable. Skip is the new kid on the block, launching in 2020, and it shows with the bugs and kinks that they're still working out in their software. Startmail's web client is a solid experience. It's very similar to ProtonMail's interface. The biggest thing that bothers me about Startmail is that I can't compose an email while viewing the rest of my inbox. Instead, the Compose screen takes over the entire interface, and I would prefer to maintain a view of my inbox while I write my email in case I need to reference an old email while writing a follow-up. Tuta's apps are mostly a miss for me, and that's unfortunate as Tuta does not support third-party apps. The only way to check your email is through their app. I feel the interface is missing contrast and customizability. It's sometimes difficult to tell which option is selected. When I went to the settings screen, I couldn't figure out how to get out of it. Do I click the settings gear again? Do I click the little email button in the tab? There's no indicator of which tab is currently active. And you can't adjust the size of the inbox sidebar. You can't choose between compact and expanded views, and there's no layout option that allows for full screen emails. Just like Startmail, Tuta's Compose window also does a full screen takeover. Overall, I would definitely 
to get frustrated using Tuta's apps long term. An up and coming feature many emo providers are adding right now is aliases. Skiff does this best, offering unlimited aliases in their most affordable paid plan. Tuta caps you at 15 aliases in the lowest paid plan, and the highest paid plan still caps you at 30 aliases. ProtonMail caps you at 10 aliases, unless you pay for the highest plan at $13 a month. So I wouldn't even consider email aliases part of ProtonMail's feature set for the average user. Startmail offers unlimited aliases in every plan, bringing it close to Skiff. I still think Skiff has the edge here because their quick alias feature gives you a unique domain to receive emails at. This means you can just invent an email alias by typing anything you want at your specific domain. Basically, you can create an alias at any time without having to go into Skiff to generate one first. Startmail uses a different approach, and since every alias is on a shared domain, you have to log in and generate the alias each time before you can start using it. Email aliases are a great way to protect your privacy, but you're gonna need a way to keep track of them. And just like you should use email aliases for your accounts, you should also use randomly generated passwords for your logins. But how are you supposed to remember all these passwords? You can't, and that's where Keeper comes in. Keeper is one of my favorite password managers, and they've been kind enough to sponsor today's video. Keeper securely stores your account information, passwords, credit card numbers, notes, and other sensitive personal information. And you can autofill passwords with Keeper Fill. So instead of using the same password on every website, Keeper lets you use strong, randomly generated passwords on each site without ever having to type it or copy and paste it. Keeper stores your vaults securely on their servers with multiple layers of the strongest encryption available so you can access your passwords on any device. One feature that sets Keeper apart is the ability to create custom fields associated with a website. So if you have a recovery code, PIN, or other account information you need to access regularly, you can create a custom field so you can copy it with one click. This saves a lot of time over copying what you need from a generic note field. If you care about securing your emails, you also need to secure your accounts, and Keeper is the best way to do that. Right now, you can get 50% off Keeper with promo code Crayler50, so go to the link in the description to get started. If you want to try it first, you can also sign up for a 30-day free trial. Thanks to Keeper for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to give it a try if you're ready to level up your security. Getting back to the features of each email service, I wanted to take a look at some advanced features like filters and autoresponders. Since two out of four of these email providers force you to use their in-house apps, it's important to evaluate how much control you have to automate things. All four services handle signatures, filters, and autoresponders well. Startmail doesn't seem to have an option to whitelist emails or adjust the spam filter, but I was able to access these features in the other three. A lot of the advanced feature differences in these providers boil down to security. ProtonMail and Tuta have options in place for session monitoring, and Skiff and Startmail lack these features. At the end of the day, I prefer that my email provider doesn't log this information, because I don't want them logging my IP address. One of these email providers, <coughs> ProtonMail, had an issue in the past where they were caught logging a user's IP address and surrendered it to French authorities. Proton's CEO said that as soon as a crime is committed, privacy protections can be suspended, and this raises serious concerns over Proton commitment to user privacy. I'm not advocating for participating in illegal activities, but I think it's important to assess what an email provider logs and which services we trust based on how they handled past incidents like this. Now, all of these providers support the standard PGP protocol, but Skiff takes this a step further by encrypting the subject line of emails sent between Skiff users. This is not something supported in PGP when sending from one PGP email to another, but as long as your email another Skiff user, you'll get this added benefit. But one area where Skiff falls behind is the lack of a password-protected email option. For the majority of messages you send, you're going to be emailing standard email addresses that don't support PGP. If you still want to send a message securely, ProtonMail, Startmail, and Tuta all give you the option to send an encrypted message that is password-protected. Recipients open a link that is sent to their email and enter the password to decrypt the message and read it. They can respond securely on the website and the response is encrypted and sent directly to your inbox. I think this is a neat feature and I'm bummed that Skiff doesn't support it. Now, a critical aspect of these services I haven't covered yet is pricing. 
Skip's free plan excels far beyond the others, offering 10 gigabytes of storage and support for a custom domain. Tuta offers one gigabyte of storage, while ProtonMail only offers 500 megabytes of storage. Both require you to upgrade to a paid plan to connect a custom domain. Startmail doesn't offer a free plan, with their base plan costing $6 a month for an at startmail.com email and $7 a month if you want to connect a custom domain. All Startmail accounts come with 20 gigabytes of storage, and while this should be more than enough for the majority of users, it bothers me that they don't offer a storage upgrade option if you need it. All three of the other providers have plans that go up to at least one terabyte of storage. So if you're looking for the best free option, it's Skiff. They leave every other provider in the dust with their generous free plan. I don't think it's just the best free option though. I think Skiff is the best option overall for most people. The interface is clean, they've gone above and beyond with the extra end-to-end -end encryption between Skiff users, and they are always implementing user-requested features submitted through their canny page. Now, if you need an email provider that offers a password protection feature for sending secure messages to normal email addresses, I would recommend Startmail. This was a hard one for me to settle on because Startmail is spendy at $6 a month, but I don't trust ProtonMail with the security incidents they've had in the past, and while Tuta is affordable, I just can't stand the interface of their apps. Startmail has done a wonderful job with its web apps, and if you can accept the fact that they don't offer native apps and get used to checking your email in your browser, I think Startmail is the best and most trustworthy option of the three providers that offer this password protection feature. Personally, I use Skiff as I don't really need the password protected email feature. I would still like to see them add it, but I don't require it for my daily usage. No matter which email provider you pick, you still need to be using randomly generated passwords with each account. So be sure to get 50% off Keeper at the link below. Also, if you're ready to get started with Skiff, I have a full tutorial video on setting up Skiff with a custom domain that you can check out here.